Hey guys, my name is Sam Snight, and welcome back to Vampire. Now, I said in the last one we would talk to everyone, so we're gonna see how that goes. I do want to push this, uh, this conversation forward a bit. Now, I am gonna be doing a lot of talking to people in this episode, so it's a quick disclaimer. If you don't like that kind of stuff, you might not want to watch this episode, but we're gonna learn a lot about the people that are living here at this, at this, uh, hospital here. But I do want to push the story forward just a touch. First, the cats are fighting. It's great. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. That's really sucky. That's no way to talk. Rainfield, you can't tell me that's not a reference. And we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round. Cats! Later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Hang on. I'm sorry, but I gotta go tame the cats. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night. Before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well. In spite of the brevity of our encounter. What does brevity mean? So it seems our Dr. Swansea does indeed have a fascination for creatures of our constitution. Dr. Swansea is a remarkable man. Dedicated, one might say, obstinate? He spent years compiling our bestiary. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Dr. Swansea has the cats are chasing each other, so that's what that is. Matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. Eat him. Must refuse his most recent demands. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? I'm just curious. Excuse my impertinence, your ladyship. This is not an interrogation. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. Uh-huh. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll so I have to now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Cool. Real quick, just want to double check and make sure everything's coming out. Okay, make sure the camera's looking okay. Okay, yeah, it, looked, it looks a little wonky for me, but I mean, it's coming out good. Nice. So, I have to gossip anyway. Unknown. 
We're gonna get all the no. We're gonna make sure we know everybody by the end of this. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Okay. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. I'm gonna be less Did like really uh, Dracula and more like Dr. Phil in this episode. All members of staff have already. I'm gonna be talking to everyone about all their problems. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of... Yeah, I know, he's like got a hard-on for vampires. Is the future. Uh, how about some personal questions? Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. Ooh. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? Perhaps you did it with the best intentions, Nurse Brannigan, but you took a great risk. Must I remind you that a man died? You mean you've never made a mistake? Never covered your tracks? No, never. I'm doctor, I wasn't born yesterday. Okay. Mm. Have you heard rumors of anything underhand going on here at the hospital? No, doctor. Never. That was quick. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. I could have mesmerized her. Oh, there's stuff here. Don't mind me, just gonna take your opium. Because that's definitely not a a blaring red flag. Oh, she's got a lot of experience. Uh, that would have been Mm. Why is it? Oh, hang on. Why is it so damn hard to, uh. Why is it so damn hard to do. St oh, 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 wait, you! Good evening, Miss Halcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Have you heard of any blackmailing going on within these walls? I have no time. Okay. I can try and mesmerize her. Oh shit, okay, she's above me on that. Alright, so... Who are you? Alright, so you're gonna be... Someone of a negative Nancy. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I've recently taken the position of head surgeon here. War injuries. Am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Have you heard rumors of underhand dealings in the hospital? If you want to know what's going on here, you better talk to Miss Jones. She knows everything. Especially what she shouldn't. <laughs> I like the way he worded that. How close are you to Miss Hawcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. A normal person. Aren't you afraid? She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. While I'm busted on the outside. She's still beautiful. I'm gonna eat you both. Living proof that there's hope for me. No, there's not. I'm going to. So do you let her bite you? You know that's not sanitary. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain, it's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patients. Then it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. You do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Kotar Syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. 
and frankly, if I could, I'd join our world. It seems much more fun than the real one. Well, you're upset. Goodbye. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Uh, oh, hello, cat. Okay, hang on. Before I go in there, uh, where's the list of like people? Phyllis, look, it's a little Halloween cat. I don't know if you can see her. Hi, baby. Hey, get off of the soundproofing. Please. Look, it's Lilith. She's getting so big. She's a little Halloween cat. She's brown and orange. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. All right, go ruckus with your brother. Okay. Um. There we go. This is what I wanted. What are you doing? Now, this is Lilith's brother. Actual brother. Tangy. Goodbye. Okay, so... Oh, my cape came off. Damn it. Well, I'm not gonna retie it. I would rather just... Uh, Whitechap... Whoa, 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 wait. Whitechapel, the hospital, and the docks. And there's a fourth one. Oh, that's right. I... Uh, I might have killed him. Maybe. Um, let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five people here I still haven't talked to. And she's one of them. Alright, hello. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Dr. Swansea is quite busy, and I need you to help me get acclimated. I have many questions. <laughs> How brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. I'm gonna eat this you woman. You know how long I've been a patient here? You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Better than any patient, nurse, or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was it a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts is a poor sod's fame. Hey, Gooba. You seem to know more about the goings-on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I'm going to eat you. Those little bitches, greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. I like her, though. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. That's... that's not good. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigans, whores, all of them. They can't keep their I might wanna... I might wanna keep her alive... Really? ...for gossip purposes. proof. I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. Her blood quality... Uh... I don't think I can. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Wait a sec. Wasn't I supposed to... Yeah, her. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. I'm trying to doctor talk to Jonathan everybody. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, doctor. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. 
She's full of fanciful tales. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? No matter how you... Who says Whoops. I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. <laughs> what can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses? Let me guess. Whoops. My bad, my bad, my bad. Goodbye. Okay. So, Dorothy Crane... Who are you? Wait. Oh, you? Who are you? Oh, you're way outside. You're like right around the corner. Okay. Oh. Who are you? I'm trying to talk to everyone. Dr. Reed. I am Thoreau Strickland. Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Okay. Goodbye, Dr. <laughs> That's all I needed. Ooh. Who are you? Good evening, sir. Reed, yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Aykroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swansea's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. You're dead. You're dead. That's it. Oh, not yet, Thank though. Okay, where is she? Oh, she's this way. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm gonna eat her. Oh, shit, I gotta work on my mesmerize, man. How do I, how do I up that? My mesmerize is not very high. Wait, who is that person? Who are you? Oh, I could eat him. I don't know how to get out of this hospital. <laughs> I could eat that guy. But he'd only give me 500 experience. It's like, it's almost like the people that are here and left for me to eat. Like, I can't. Because they're too damn high up. Whoa, Lady Ash. Oh, I can't. She's the... Who's this boy? Oh, he's the, he's the dying dude. I could just eat him. Uh, Dorothy Crane. Oh wait, I have this, the uh, the compass. Wait, what am I at? Have I met everyone here? One, two, three. There's three people I still haven't met yet. Hmm. That's fine. Oh. Wait a minute. I want to talk Please, to this sir. guy. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Hi, Tangy. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. <laughs> Where was your friend the last time you saw him? He went down by the canal. Okay. Uh, thank you, Doc. I'm going to do that. Oh, hello. Wait. What is happening? You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah. I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Well, neither do I, but sometimes you need them. Well then. When you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. 
I don't like him. I'm gonna eat him. <laughs> Just walk right on up to him. So is that the guy I'm looking for? Oh, I'm supposed to retrieve a thug from the sewers. I'm assuming that guy that just walked down there was the thug. Oh, are we getting some Dead Island shit going up in here? We're gonna start fighting tugs again? I miss McGumby. I would eat McGumby, I think. I think if I had the choice, I would drink McGumby dry. Put him out of his misery, you know. Okay, here we go. Now see, look, when I get into an enclosed space, the game runs so much more smooth. I'm not worried about what's happening. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. Oh, level eight. An even fight. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. So, the, the fact that he's like screaming and yelling leads me to believe he's not as in much trouble as he sounds. Ooh, common barb. Oh, wait a minute. Is that Lucille? I just found out how to switch my weapon. Right? Didn't I? I know I did. No, 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 no. I know that I did. Oh, man. I sure would love to use that common barbed cudgel. If only I could figure out... Oh, here we go. Uh, do I have anything? No. Do I have anything here? What about here? No. Okay. Is this Lucille? How Lucille-ish is this? Pretty Lucille-ish. A little long, but... I'm gonna sneak up and destroy you. Oh, you're only level six. I drink as often as possible. So I can do shit like that. Oh, that hurt. I don't need to walk anymore. How do I get in there? How do I do that? Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to have to find a way around then. If you can't breathe, try breathing. Idiot never thought of that. I bet. That's the way out. Well, maybe you shouldn't have come down here in the first place. Nice, scuba. The cats are just like on one right now. I don't know why, they just kind of are. Where is the bad stuff happening at? You sound like you're that way. Like genuinely, th oh, there we go. Oh, you're way down there. Scoob, the cats are just bothering me today. Why, wait a minute, I just realized that this game just went to the sewers as every horror game does. Ooh. 
All right, well, chill out. Hang on, I'm on the way. That's the way out. At least it looks like it. A way out. Just gonna walk casually. I just murdered them both so hard. I don't want to die here. I want to see the sky, feel the fresh air. I'm going to eat you, I think. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I'm Oswald Thatcher. <laughs> Please, I need to get out. Mr. Thatcher, your friend Newton sent me to help you. Do you remember him? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Can I mesmerize him? Oh, he's not even worth it. I could, but he's not worth it. Move. Can't any of you be worth, like, getting risky? Okay, I retrieved the thug from the sewers. Is it, was That was the thug, correct? Or was that... No, that was just a side thing. I gotta, like, go deep in the sewers to get the thug that I followed down here. That was cute. Whoa! What happened to you? My head itches. Right there. There we go. All better. Yeah, of course you'd find codeine in the sewers. That's that's where I keep all of my codeine. Sewer beast. What the fudge? What sort of creature is this? That's a damn good question. What are... Okay, so it's obviously vampire, not werewolf. But... Is this the sewer dog? Ow. This is kind of scary. Ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow, shit, shit. Stop it. Stop doing what you're doing. Boom. More blood, bitch. Gotta heal, don't I? Ow. Because you keep doing shit like that. Ow! Oh! Whoa, 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 Stop that! Stop doing that thing! Stop it! Stop! This is kind of crazy. What is this thing? Give me num nums. Oof. Die, man, dude. Seriously? I'm gonna eat you to death. The hell was that? Is 
Search the thug's corpse. There's what's left of him. Oh. Not a lot to check, but I should anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, if you are sick, you have no. Mo oh. Ooh, do I have this now? Is this mine? Some voucher for a free checkup in Blightchill. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. What? Is she the blackmailer? Reach Whitechapel. I already tried that. I got like viciously murdered. No, I almost got viciously murdered. It was a vicious murder attempt that I dodged. I can't remember what happened. It was yesterday I recorded the episode and I can't remember what the hell happened. Also, I don't know how to leave here. I need more stamina. <laughs> Like, that's where all of my upgrade points are gonna go, is stamina, because I don't have enough. Man, I wish there was, like, a Resident Evil 4-esque option to, like, kick the door down. Because I don't like waiting. I like to just kick the door down and go. Some citizens have quests for you if you talk to them. They'll always reward you for your help. Not with, with experience, except if they do. I don't know. I'm literally talking out of my ass right now. Because I don't know. I don't know. It's, uh... Okay, I want to eat someone big. Like, like... Really big. Like a doctor. Or something. Because, truth be told, I need a massive experience boost. Can I try? Wait, unknown? What do you mean, unknown? Oh, this is Tippett's. The guy who Reed. screwed up. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I'm gonna eat this guy. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do Don't suck up to me. Other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. A vampire. A surgeon, oh. a blood transfusion specialist. I want to dig into this. Kukorin, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. Wow, he what just owned up right up to it. It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks, maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed a body. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. At least he owned up to it. Like, that, that's... I ain't gonna cover for you. Maybe I'm supposed to. There's only one person I haven't met yet. <laughs> Am I supposed to cover for this dude? Like, for real, for real. Hang on. Alright, I know I'm supposed to because it was green. I will cover for you, Dr. Tippett. By keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I, I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. Then I can make you this promise. Cats. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. That was good. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Tangy's just sitting there watching. Now there's one person I have not met. Oh, I'm gonna eat him. Oh, oh, oh. Is that the one, guy? one boy? Right over there? Whoa. Investigate citizens' actions. Wait, where? Why? Who? What have I done? Can I talk to that guy? 
Hey! That was fast. I'm afraid the trail of breadcrumbs leads beyond the hospital premises. Is that so? Now it's time. Ma no, stop, stop. I have to be. I'll return. Stop it. Investigate citizens' actions. What is going on and where? What did I accidentally stumble myself upon? Uh. Whoa. See, this is why I don't like being out here. Um. Investigate citizens' actions. I was just looking around. Oh, shit. They're going away. They're going that way. Whoever it is is leaving. So I should be leaving then. Ah, shit. Stop. Okay. Oh, right here. Right here. It's on the other freaking side, man. Be sure I'll not find your unconscious body in the house again. I promise you, you'll not find my unconscious body. For God's sake, how can you say such a thing? How can you refuse to listen? I tried to warn you for so long. No, I won't let my only son die. You promised me you'll stay alive. Hey. Your son lied to you, like the whole world lies to us. I'm gonna eat him before he dies. One more intended to take his own life. Oh, that's tragic. That's awful. And now I'm gonna. F I'll feel a little bit of remorse when I drink him. Okay, wait. Have I met everyone, though? No, there's one person left. Okay. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna see if I can. No, not you. You. He's over here. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I remember how this goes. Confusing ass hospital. Good. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Admitted, Mortimer. Your mother had you hospitalized here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes, it's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. Shall we call this progress? Call it what you want, Dr. Reed. Can I help you in any way, Mr. Goswick? I wrote a letter for my mother. She was supposed to read it after... after my death. I suppose she doesn't have to read it now. I see. And is this letter still near the place where you tried to take your own life? Yes. And I don't want anyone reading my last words. I mean, I'm still here. If you bring me back that letter, then perhaps we'll talk. On it. You can trust me. I guess I should thank you then. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk. I have to... Okay, I'm gonna evolve real quick. Actually, the episode... The episode is kind of getting to that point where I should probably call it. I'm having too much fun, so I'm gonna go a couple more minutes. Uh, I, I am gonna evolve, though. That's the door out. I need to go upstairs. I could eat that guy. I'm gonna eat her too. I don't know. I, I keep making plans on drinking people, and I've only done it once two episodes ago on accident. I don't know where the stairs are. The game doesn't run so good out here. Where are the stairs? I need the stairs. I have five screws. I also want to upgrade some stuff. Can I do that? Can I? Are not fools. They know we are overwhelmed by this horrifying epidemic. 
Uh, I just want to upgrade like 3,000 plus points worth of stuff. Do I know you? Yes, I do. She's actually my first target. I don't. Yapping about vampires is going to make people think about vampires, and that's not good for me. So I'm going to get rid of that as quickly as possible. Hopefully, I can up my memorize, mesmerize level as well. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, I need more stamina. Level 10 required. I am level 9 now, though. I could use some more health as well. Uh, I need just a little bit more. Um... Plus one syringes. I don't even use syringes. What is this? It will block your targets. It, blood in their veins, making them defenseless. I can't get it. I can't get that either. Shit. Okay, well, I'm going to confirm this. And rest until the next night. Damn, I don't want to stop playing. Uh, I got a lot of time today to play more episodes, though, because I've already been to work. Work went much quicker than... than uh, I'll reach white chap. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to upgrade stuff. I want to upgrade this. Can I upgrade this? I need... What do I need? Oh. Increase the damage dealt. Obviously. Okay, so now it's level two. Mm hmm. I need a common handle part. Okay. I need common handle parts. But it does do more damage now. Alright, I'm going to reach Whitechapel. I would like to drink one person in this episode, but I don't have the... What is my Mesmerize at? Still one. See, that's bad. I need like five or six. See, I could take him out, but he sells me stuff. Also, Dimitri was making fun of me in the comments of one of the last videos that I don't know that uh, I don't know how to use a gun, even though the game has already told me how to use a gun. I still don't know how to use a gun, but I now know how to equip a gun, so I'm moving in the right direction. Now I can't eat as many people here as I can back there. Can I just... I was wondering what the hell was going on. Like, I was like walking by him and I'm like, shouldn't I be being attacked right now? Oh. Out of stamina. It's fine though. Oh. That's ah, not quite as fine as I had wanted. Gotta get over here so the bitch face over there can't shoot me. Why did that happen? Oh, shit, 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 shit. That didn't happen. Nope. It didn't happen. You're wrong. I have to get... I will end the episode when I get to that place I'm trying to get to. I ate the one dude without a problem. So how come I'm having such a... The hard time with these guys. It's a shotgun is what it is. The shotgun will pose a threat to anything. Once I get over there, I'll end the episode.
Yeah, 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 yeah. You're awake. I got five experience for dying. This is not where I want to be. I need to go back into the belly of the beast. Whitechapel. Okay, hang on. How come... Why is their stuff so serious? Because, like, if you look, these guys are healthy. These guys are stable. These guys are serious. Like, are they dying? I have to get past these guys. There ain't no way around that. Can I just walk through? Best be moving on. Okay. Stay away. I said okay. I gotta get through there though. What can I do? Step away, sir. What can I do to, to get past these guys? I might just have to beat the sh- Are you dead? No. Just stubborn. Tangy. Crush the lead! Crush the lead, boys! Is everything okay? Everything is not okay. It's one of them. Why is the game running so badly? Okay, there we go. This fire boy right here. I'm gonna say, yeah, he's he's just about dead. And now he is dead. And I'm gonna eat you too. How's it feel, bitch? Racist against vampires. I didn't want to murder my way here. That's just sort of the path I ended up taking. I would say it was forced upon me, but like I probably could have tried to sneak by. Got experience out of it. I could probably farm experience, truth be told. Alright, now this is where I need to be. Alright, I'm going, I'm going. I need to get in here. It's locked. What the hell do I do? How do I get on? How do I get in there? Is there an uppy? There's an uppy. It's locked, all right. Still no. Do it's I... locked. All right, fine. Uh, we're gonna have to kill these guys too. I can, I can do that. Level twelve, level eleven, level ten. Isn't this? I, I already did this. Uh, all to get to a gate that might be shut. Yes, he is, and you're next. <laughs> Stop calling me a leech. Oh. Hello. Nah, I'm out of stamina. Every time I run out of stamina, if I can bite, I will bite. What the hell do you mean you're locked out? If you're locked out, that means I'm locked out. <laughs> Ow. Alright, that's fine. Oof. Yum 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 Oof. I 
I like fighting in this game. It's nice. You missed. Kinda. Whack, whack, whack. Oh. Whoa. Well, there's a cat on the... The cats are driving me crazy today, man. Come on, Raj. You missed. Stupid. Ow. Whack. Oh. Whack. Damn, man. Alright. Can I get through now? I can. White Chapel. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. Okay. Once I find like a good stopping point, that's when I'll call it. I've honestly gone a little bit longer than I intended. Oh, you're dead. Fuck you all! Fuck it all! Stop it now, Albert! Stop it! Oh. Well. I'm gonna eat this guy right now. What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened. Who are you? I'm Dr. Reed. And I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. You just... I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. Uh... Oh, shit. Damn it. Why should he read this letter? What letter? I have found a very interesting letter. Your son planned to prove his worth to the gang by stealing your medicine. Oh, I see. So the little bugger thought he could use his dad to build a reputation. The gang's recruiter was dead when I found him. Perhaps you should take better care of your son. I love my Albert, sir. Believe me. It's just... Well, I'm an arsehole, I suppose. Anyway, thanks for the letter. This is for your trouble. Nice. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for her too. I need some pills. But the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? Word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. Okay. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. If he had... Well, what about you? I'm sorry, I'm very interested. The at the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can... Name's Albert. Goodbye, young... The wet boots will be proud of me. Oh, he's worth more. I should kill him. I really should. All these new people. This is my last thing I'm doing. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. 
Oh, I can see his name. <laughs> oh, he's got bronchitis. That sucks. Am I supposed to be hiding? Is there like a spot I'm supposed to be standing at or am I supposed to just be looking at him? You still wearing your bloody thing? Strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just the friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidacott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. It's lo I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Okay, I'm finding a hideout now. Should be one. By the church they just mentioned. Right here. Right? When science fails you, this elixir will give you faith again. You need to go. If your blood quality is high, I'm, evening, I'm murdering you. Good evening, sir. Actually. Then you have come to the right place. Oh, really? Ah, oh, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. Dad! I'd like to see what kind of. I don't know what any of this stuff does. Oh, I can sell this? No real need to, though. Alright, uh... That's a hideout. I'm facing a hideout right now. I don't see it, but it's here, apparently. Um... I need a hideout so I can... Stop recording. I need to stop the episode. I don't know where to go. Okay, so it should be right up here. Are you dead? Yeah, you're pretty dead. Now you're really asleep. Is this a hideout? What am I doing right now? I'm trying to end the episode is what I'm doing, but like, did I just enter a hideout like I thought? Or what? I don't know what I'm doing. If this episode runs long, this episode runs long. It's fine. It's a long game, so I gotta have a couple long episodes here and there. Yeah, I know Whitechapel's district status is serious. Oh, the game's running so nice right now. Okay, something bad happened. Okay, and I'm gonna fight about it. New hideout unlocked. Nice. Um. Uh, I need to evolve, and then we'll end the episode. Ooh. Ah, oh, shit. I always get stuck on, like, what do I want? Increase your health. Man, that sounds really good, because I did die, but I do want... Oh, I can't get more endurance. Um, okay. So, we'll go with more health for now. Always a safe bet, getting more health. Oh, I can get more and more health. Oh, I'm level 10 now. Neat. Alright, that's one hell of a way to end the episode. So, oh, here's what I'm doing. Okay. Whoa, hello, Tangy. Be sure to check in for the next one. Because, 
Oh, good lord. Stop, stop, stop that. Stop it. Enough. No. I'm leaving now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you enjoyed the video, and be sure to check in for the next one, because I want to see you there.